Are you on tour proper now? This is middle. Of, are you middle of the tour, start of the tour? Where no, where so we are? Right, we're right at the arse end of it now. Because right. like, it start it started in. Two, it's like it was pre-pandemic. Oh no! The tour started. So One like, of these. Yeah. So it's like I remember. I think it was the like four-year tour. Fuck it. <laughs> mad well, so, like, uh, David Costello has said he's going to see it tonight I'm guessing that was is that tonight Empire yeah tonight yeah yeah uh, he said since it was delayed two years has it been revised much material wise um, wow he's pretty demanding this guy isn't he? <laughs> uh, uh, no it's uh, the f look, so basically that it, not deliberately because I didn't because I just thought it's the show do you know what I mean but just because I got bored of saying certain bits and like you end up sort of accidentally writing bits don't you as time goes on so actually the first half is completely different. So, but that wasn't, I didn't think I must change this up. Do you know what I mean? But it just happened naturally. Naturally changed, yeah. So yeah, I think like it, it, it is a complete, not completely different show. There's bits that are the same, but I would say there's probably like a, a, a new 45 minutes or something in there. But, but, but it's just gradually like from gigging and stuff like that, it's just like slipped in and stuff. And then you sort of go off, I don't want to do this bit anymore and whatever. So it wasn't, I didn't think I must freshen this up, but it just happened. Do you do two halves? Yeah, so I do. So I don't have a, a support act. I've got we've got a DJ that like um, that basically is a support act, um, and then I come out and do like forty five in the first half, and then uh, I probably do like fifty fifty five in the second. Do you know what I mean? But that that's not by plan either. My my I always think I want to do like I always aim for like forty ish each half. And then what happens is it just grad it just yeah. sort of gradually expands. And to be honest with you, it's probably it's it's probably too long at the moment. But I just like doing all the stuff, so I haven't chopped anything out. But that is a long time. I think that sec that second half, you sort of go if really if it's not that you run in the risk of them going fucking hell. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> just feels like a bit of a marathon. Have you ever been at a, like a music gig and they've gone, do you want more? And you sort of think, well, it's getting on a bit. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, like, yeah, 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 I could. I could do with getting off. That's what I worry about slightly. Do you know what I mean? That yeah. is a long old show, isn't it? Like, yeah. yeah. Barry, how, long you, how, how long do you guys do? Oh, I'm planning. I'm planning to do 20 minutes before the support act. Right. They do 20. Yeah. So that's always going to overrun to 45. Yeah. And then in my head, I want to do 50, 55. Right, right, right. But I don't like we said. Like when a comic ever says to you. I'm going to do 50, 55. What they mean is an hour, an yeah. hour and five. Like when you on, on Friday night went, you can do 12. I was like, cool. He means 13. <laughs> <laughs> he means 13. You always add like 10, 15%, yeah, yeah. don't you? I just, yeah. I don't know what you, it's so interesting here, hearing you do it differently. I'm planning to do it differently. You're doing it completely different again. Yeah. There is no one definitely right way. No. I, I send a sports act on to do 20 minutes. Right. Have a break. And then I try to do an hour. Yeah. But I've. I think that's like a proper. That's a proper old school, like almost American way of doing it, which is is good, man. Yeah, they obviously they don't have the intervals, do they? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's there. true. Yeah. Um, and I'd be tempted to see what it'd be like without an interval, but I don't. I don't think it would work over here. Um, my show at the minute is I've took a twenty minute routine out of it, and it's gone down to an hour and fifteen. <laughs> it started at fifty five an hour, and it, over three months it's grown. Yeah, it's, yeah. Gr it's grown by like. 50 and is that is that is that where routines have got bigger, or you've added routines? Routines have just got bigger. Right, just right, right. tags and and yeah, a little yeah. thirty second amble this way. And yeah, it's not. There's no new bits. Yeah, yeah, at all. It's mad like that, isn't? Because I often find like sometimes like if this is is this too nerdy for the podcast? Anyway, but I, no, we, we talk about comedy live. Okay, okay, okay. But like, I but have you ever sucked yourself off? No, <laughs> we'll get to that. Yeah, we'll get cool, to that. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. We'll keep that behind that. the paywall, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, I, I often like when I've written the first twenty for the tour, like you know, I'll write it in bits, and then there's a theatre down the road from my house, like a hundred seater, and I just go and like try it out. Often, that initial twenty minutes is basically the tour, but it just expands. Do you know what I mean? It's so, oh, wow. it's so mad how it happens like that. It's not like you think it's going to be, I'm going to bolt on this, I'm going to bolt on this, but actually it just sort of grows and grows and grows and you add bits. So like sometimes I think when I, when I started writing tour shows, I'd write the like the, the initial bit and I go, let me just try this out. And I think, hold on, I've got to think about this a bit more because I'm the kind of lazy bastard that will make this the show now. Do you know what I mean? So I've got to make sure <laughs> these topics and things are things I actually am going to be in love with. Like, in a year's time, do you know what I mean? When I'm doing this on the road, yeah, it's um, it's hard to judge that, though, isn't it? Like, I, so hard. Like, I'm conscious because, like, we have a lot of people coming to see us at comedy club gigs now. 
Yeah. Like, oh, I always listen to the podcast, so whatever. And that's where I work my stuff through. Yeah. I don't do many work in progress. Right, I right, just right. put Try it out three twenties together and then that's the tour. Yeah. Um I'm because I'm my tour finishes the end of June and I'm not touring again till the end of next year. Right. So I've got like just over a year to write it. But I always think like if someone comes and sees me in October this year and they see me do 20 minutes and then they buy a tour ticket for October next year, yeah. they're going to see the same stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's And tricky, they're going to be like, this fucking cunt writes nothing. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing this for 13 just months. come to the tours <laughs> or the work in progress. <laughs> yeah. I'm going unlisted in the new year. If, if, club, if clubs... Don't want to put me on unlisted, fine. But I'm not having the same conversation of like, oh, we're coming to Leeds and then you're in Nottingham and then we're going to come and see the tour show. You're like, you're going to see the stuff. Mate, it's hard though. I, I, I don't had, know what you... I, I had I had a thing where I was doing, I, I just done, it's sort of, I'd done Live at the Apollo in the middle of a tour. So like the Live at the Apollo set was like tw 20 minutes out of the tour, right? I mean, I was doing, I was doing the Apollo on the tour and that set was in the thing, right? And um. In the interval, I, I was having a great, like, I was having a really nice time. And then in the interval, I just saw this tweet from somebody going, and I was in a bit, I was a bit tired at this time, right? <coughs> I saw a tweet going, um, fucking hell, I'm at the Apollo gig with Roma Shrang, never seen all this shit before, right? Oh. He tagged me. And I, now, I'll be honest with you, first of all, I wouldn't look at my phone to see in the interval. But even if I did, I'm now immune to, I've managed to get myself to a place where I don't really, not that I don't care, but I'm immune to that kind of thing. But then I wasn't. And like, so I was just like, oh my God, everybody hates this show, right? And I started like spiraling, right? And like, so when I went out to do the second half, it was like ha having an out of body experience. Like I had a good gig, but in my head, I was just thinking about this one person that was hating it. The reality is he probably walked out, but like, I was like thinking about this whole thing. It, f like it fucked, it ruined my Apollo like experience, right? Jesus. And then after the gig, there's like, uh, they, they've got a bar, they, we had a bar like for, for guests or whatever. And um, Mark Schwartz was there, right? Like he'd come to watch the show. And I was like, I was like, I was like, so I know. And I was spinning out, right? I was like in a really bad place. And he went and I just couldn't social. I went to the bar because a couple of my mates were there, but I was like, I can't explain it to you. I was not in a good Your head head's sp fallen off. Fucked, mate, yeah. right? Like properly. And so then like, um, I walk in, he introduces himself and I just go, yeah, all right, mate. And I just, I couldn't, I just didn't have the social... Skills to like, I just couldn't. I'm not in a place to talk to Mark Schwartz right now, right? <laughs> so like, so like, so, so, so I just go home after the like do do what I think is like the uh, uh, the requisite amount of time in the bar to like be polite, and then I leave, right? Months later, right, I get a text message from somebody going, "You're getting, you're getting absolutely coated off and fighting talk right now, right?" And they and I was like, "What?" And they were doing an item about having a weird experience when you meet somebody you're a fan of, right? And Mark Schwartz was on the show. No. <laughs> he was talking about coming to the Apollo, being excited to meet me, and me just being a bit of a prick. Oh. <laughs> and then I was just like, oh my God, this fucking night keeps coming back to put me in the dick, man. <laughs> I end up having to message him, just going. Oh, look, I think man. you're the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get Ian Stone to message you? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>, brilliant! <laughs> oh, holy shit! You should never oh, be al al allowed around football. Like. <laughs> 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 <laughs>